Hello everybody, and I'm glad I do, my friends. My name is Sparky Pie, and welcome to a pie. One more. Come on. Come on. I said a mic check. Work with me here. I need a mic check. Perfect. Got myself in some brand new shoes. Please try to ignore the fact that I'm wearing white socks right now. Look out ladies, here I come. Got a fancy new camera. Here, I'll let you guys see yourself. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Fancy camera. Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody, and I'm glad to interview my friends, and welcome to us Pie Day. Today, we're going to be making a beautiful pie. Stay tuned for more. How do YouTubers do this? It's so heavy. I mean, this is like the lightest, high quality camera I could get, and it's still like. <laughs> you guys are holding the weight of the internet in one arm is. <laughs> anyway, hello everybody and a glad day to you my friends. My name is Sparky Pie and welcome to Pi Day! It's Pi Day, March 14th, and today is a very special Pi Day because I have been learning how to cook for like a week. <laughs> I tried brownies yesterday. I think I undercooked them, too much salt, the butter wasn't mixed in right. Oh man, and today we're gonna be making pie, which requires like 500 more steps. I'm gonna try and keep it brief. I'll tell you the recipe I'm following is from Binging with Babish, so go check out his channel to find his apple pie recipe. And if you wanna see like a full walkthrough kind of thing, that's where you should go for that. For me, I am just going to be making the pie and kinda documenting the process as I go along. So bear with me. It's going to be crazy. Probably going to be like a three, five minute video, but it's going to be awesome. So step one is probably the hardest part. I don't have any like fancy cooking setup or anything to let you guys see what I'm doing. So uh, what do I do with you people? Good enough. You can you can see what I'm doing. Even if you can't see my beautiful face. <laughs> Which you can't anyway because apparently I'm terrible at framing my face while I'm talking to you. Oh my goodness, I gotta lay down like this for you to see me right. <laughs> let's do let's do a second intro for this. Just just for fun. I'll sh I'll shove this right at the beginning of the video. I don't know how to do an intro about a pie video. How do you, how do cooking people do intros? They like show a clip from something, they show the recipe, I don't know, they, they do random weird stuff. They don't have intros. They just cook. Like they, or they have like super professional intros, like Rachel Ray. What the heck does Rachel Ray do? <laughs> I'm not gonna be duplicating that in, uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, I'm going to be making a pie and a video about making the pie by the end of today because as per usual, as is becoming tradition, <laughs> I am forgetting to do everything until the day of. So <laughs> this is gonna be exciting. So you might think step one would be to find all the ingredients, but really step one is to convert ounces into cups. So, okay, so it turns out 12.5 ounces is about two and three quarter cups. For anybody out there who wants to try this with, with me at home. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. 
Can I get you anything to go with the Okay. Step Get one is to write a note. Try a slice of that pie. Step two is Jerry coffee. Pie. Best in the Tri-Counties. Oh. Step three oh. is to gorge yourself. Oh. Got it. Diving into his fifth pie, Lardass began to imagine that he goes with eating pies. He pretended he was eating cow flops. It's just after I saw a movie, I like to go get a piece of pie. All right, and step four so is to watch a movie. All right, hey wonderful. Guys, what's up? It is the first day of fall, and we are celebrating with a cinema and TV. Class. First day of fall, you're making pie? Oh my goodness. He's making this on the first day of fall, and not the 14th day of March? Babish, what the heck? Babish, what the heck? So I just put this down, and it started doing this, and it's quite entrancing. It hasn't stopped for like two minutes. All right, the recipe calls for two and a half sticks of butter. So, which of you will it be? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, catch his toe. No. See, you don't practice these things. All right, buddy, your time has come. Say goodbye. No, wait, I have to measure you right, uh, right, right there. Yep. Say goodbye to mama. Hey -ya! So the recipe calls for two and a half sticks of cold butter. Right. Thankfully I had three sticks of cold butter in the fridge, so uh same deal guys. One of you has to go. Eeny, meeny, miny, oh catch a tiger by his toe, if he holler make him pay. 53.14159 Alright buddy I'm sorry But it couldn't last forever and you we all knew it Don't don't cry don't cry. It's okay. It's okay He says shushing the butter with a knife. What is my life become right now? Hey, what you Hey, I missed and yeah that was a terrible cut, but it does not matter because baking is imprecise, as we all know. That feeling when you realize you put all of your accurate measuring tools in the dishwasher, so you're left using three quarter and half cup measures instead of what you would use, and half teaspoon measures instead of full teaspoon measures because we ain't got time for that. Sure hope this doesn't leave me with way too much salt or anything. Um, <clears throat> looking at past me making brownies. Dear Lord. Alright. I haven't used this thing before. I think I got it right. I think I got the, the parts right. Let's see how this goes. I feel like I'm using the wrong parts. Now this looks more correct. Let's see how, it, let's see if it works. Oh yeah, that's working way better. Only trouble is you can't see it. Oh no. Oh well. You gotta, you gotta see the base of the thing. Don't worry, everything is totally going fine up here where you can't see anything. Definitely not pouring things everywhere. Don't worry about a thing. It's all completely normal and fine. Completely normal and fine. Dear lord, how can so much flour spill out of this? I guess this is the... What's it called? This is the, the KitchenAid's mixing bowls protest against what I'm trying to do here. Pouring from the KitchenAid mixing bowl, as you can see from the bottom here, into a different mixing bowl. <laughs> it's like, no! There can only be one! Alright, time to watch chaos happen. I expected it to go everywhere, but then again, I kind of didn't, but then it did. I'm so confused as to what to feel right now. Whoops, just realized I forgot the sugar. All right, now it says to add two and a half sticks of butter, but this thing's almost full. Like, what kind of food processor does this guy have? Then again, he does pour it out right after this, so maybe it'll work. 
And of course, it's cold cube butter, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm expecting myself to edit screams in for that bit, but... Then again, now I realize I do have only like... I only have like three hours, maybe, to, to make all this. Or to edit it once I've finished filming. Oh dear lord, what am I doing? And I still have to cook supper. Uh, this is this is the trouble with forcing yourself to learn to cook. Is like it just takes so much time, but that time is spent learning a good habit. So I would suggest everyone do it. As I say, as I'm cutting butter into cubes. What even is baking? Like, who 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 designed this? Who went through all of the steps to get to this? To get to this part right here, where they, they perfected everything down to a science, down to the point where how you cut the butter before you add it to the mix matters. Like, whose idea was this? I want to go shake their hand. They probably put a lot of work into this. Way more than I can. And then people around the world shun their work, and they say, no. We will do it the lazy way. And that person, whoever they are, they're probably rolling around in their grave because this probably happened like decades ago. Generations have passed before the art of butter cubing was created. And butter still to this day refuses to turn into cubes and instead turns into squares, which kind of come apart. All right, I don't know what kind of food processor he has. Oh my goodness, this is blurry. I don't know what kind of food processor he has that it's only half full with that much stuff, but like, I think we're gonna have to grab the blender. Also, I figured out if I put the the pot on this cutting board and turn it around right, you're gonna see more. Ha <laughs> ha. See, this this is this is the true camera work. This is what all those film people, the 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 masters, the people that you're like, oh my goodness, how do I create like them? This is how they work. They definitely, this is definitely how they work, 100%. Nah. No. Nah, no, this ain't gonna work because I just realized the bottom of the blender, like the, the blade part, isn't the same as this, so whatever mixing he's doing, it's not gonna happen the same. So I gotta figure out a way to make this work. Ah! Do I do it in halves? Do, I, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Alright, so what I'm gonna try is this thing has this fancy thing that removes so I'm gonna like pulse it a bit, put some more butter in, pulse it a bit. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully this doesn't explode. All right, confirmed it is too full. I'm probably gonna have to do this in halves. This is super fun. Alright, he says until it resembles wet sand, but I don't know how we're going to do that with the weird thing that we're doing, so let's see! I forgot to put it on pulse. Did I do it? Did I, did I do it? <gasps> it resembles wet sand. Almost. A little bit more. Alright, I think we're doing it! Alright. We now have what looks to me like grated parmesan, almost. Interesting, interesting. Let's see what happens next. All right, we're adding ice water until a shaggy dough forms, mixing with a rubber spatula. So here's the rubber spatula I'm gonna use, nice and large. But the thing that I'm pausing here to tell you is a little tip that I learned when cooking when they say to you use ice water, what they don't tell you is you gotta remove the ice cubes first. Yeah, I know it probably seems obvious, but I didn't think about it the first time I had to do crap with this stuff. I just dumped it in. I was like, ah, crap! Now I got ice cubes. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. Wait. Is this clean? Always make sure your cooking implements are clean. All right. Here we go. Shaggy dough. Here we go. Let's do this. Eh. Eh. Oh my goodness. 
that's such an interesting experience. I don't know why we're mixing with a spatula instead of our hands. I mean, like like Rachel Ray always says, the the best cooking implements in the kitchen are at the ends of your arms, you know. So let's keep doing this. Right, bro. I think that's dough. Get it? Because it's a shaggy dough. Anyway. <laughs> See, the, they never show you, like, YouTubers always show you the lead up and the execution, but they never show you the lead up to the execution. It's more fun that way. Oh. Execution was ruined anyway. Had a bowl on the way. <laughs> so you didn't get to see mud pie falling in all of its glory. <laughs> anyway. Uh, geez. Editing's gonna be a little harder from now on because I've been pressing the stop button to make shorter clips so that it's easier and so that there's less editing, less footage, less megabytes on the computer. But now my hands are kind of dough. So, sorry, Tao, but this is gonna be a bit of a job. <laughs> oh, goodness. I got, I got, I got stuff on the all spice. Oh, no. Why did I pull my spices out? Anyway, let's see what he does. So, we're supposed to wait two hours. We're supposed to let this sit in the fridge for two hours. I'm gonna get this video done by 10. It's currently three. All right, let's avoid any more surprises. How long is this recipe gonna take? Okay, so we got the 10 hour wait. I mean, sorry, the two hour wait. Then we got half hour cooking time and we gotta mix everything and form it properly and we gotta make apple stuff. So, this is actually perfect. I'm going to leave this, actually, that's probably what he does in the video, isn't it? I didn't even get to that part because I accidentally pressed back to the beginning when I was trying to pause it. But he, yeah, yeah, okay. So we're gonna toss this in the fridge and then make our apple filling. Yeah, all right, let's get this. It says generally, Season with flour, I mean, cover with flour. So I'm being generous here. I think that's generous enough. Okay. Said generously. I don't know if he meant like leave an inch on top kind of generous or just like, you know, Mr. Beast philanthropy kind of generous. This is kind of Mr. Beast philanthropy kind of generous. Okay, we're, we're going full generous here. All right. So let's get this bread. Ah, shoot. He doesn't tell you to wash your hand so you don't get flour on the plastic wrap. So it doesn't make your fridge dirty. Alright, one second. Alright, let's get this bread in the fridge. Because it's technically bread. Right? Alright, he says to very specifically put it into a pineapple shape. And then wrap it excessively in plastic wrap. I imagine this is good enough. Cool. Do you have to flour this edge too? Doesn't... Doesn't say. Do I flour this side too? What do I do here? I just have... dough. Ah. Okay. It doesn't say too, but I'm gonna toss a little extra flour in here. Alright, there was no extra flour. I used it all perfectly, and now I have flour everywhere. So, let's get this bread in the fridge. Alright, it turned from a disc into a hot dog bun. Good enough, it's going in the fridge. So I realize I'm probably taking a few things too literally, but this is my first time making pie. I have no clue what the heck I'm doing. And also, I want, like, I don't know if this is entertaining to see all this, but, like, 
I don't know. I wanted to show my whole experience. And also, all these cooking shows and stuff, they never show tips that, like, real beginners need. Like, like art things. Art things as well. Whenever you're learning to draw, you look up, okay, how do I draw this? And then they go into, like, all these details, all these magnificent little tiny things here and there, and then they're like, okay. And so you go out and try and do it on your own, and you're like... And it's just, like, garbage. And, like, they never teach you the basics, the fundamentals. Like, removing ice from your ice water. That's probably assumed, because what kind of dummy wouldn't, like, would make the ice go into their ingredients? Shut up! Let's, let's just get to the apples. Alright, so for the apples, he says peel and chop. I don't know what that means. Also, it says to use two pounds of apples. Well, he doesn't tell you. That's a lot of apples. That's like that many. That's, a, that's like ten. Here, wait. Three, five, seven. That's seven apples. At least for me, it's seven apples. Um, he says honey crisp are fine, so I'm using honey crisp. Uh, do I have a? Oh gosh, I gotta peel these by hand. Oh no! All right, let's see if Old Faithful will do the trick. Hey, I would say it's working not bad. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna try and do a time lapse of this one because I feel like this will be fun. Alright, I hope that was satisfying time lapse. It sure seemed like it would be with the light, with the apple turning white as I turned it. Missed a few spots there. Anyway, I'll see you after I've chopped them because that's just gonna be boring. So, technically, everything in this bowl is edible, but <sighs> I suppose I should toss it. But anyway, I would have just used, a, you know, one of those simple apple core things that, well, you know, one of these bad boys, but the way he sliced it in the video is like thin sliced, and I feel like it's easier to do it this way. It's actually much simpler to core apples than you think. One tip I have is to cut it into quarters, because that'll make it easier to get in here, so then you just have to do like, sh and and then it comes right out. And, like if you're like me and you're a conservationist, you like conserving things and not wasting, don't worry about getting in deep. Because I know that's a thing for me, but like you're cutting out way less than you think you are. So don't worry about cutting in deep. Just get the core out of there. And if you want, if you really want to save things, save the seeds, sell them for later. I don't know. Or try to make trees. And with the apples, just eat them like a snack. Maybe you could bake them, fry them. I don't know. This, I feel like you could use all this for something. For something. I don't know. I want to. That's the kind of person I am. Because I don't want to waste any of this. This is good apples, but... <sighs> Into the compost bowl you go. He says, trying very carefully to both film and not pour everything everywhere. Oh my goodness. Why am I filming this? Ah! Okay, anyway. Back onto the video, next part. Whatever, here we go. And again, like before, I'm not gonna film me slicing all this, putting the spices in. It's just slicing apples and putting the spices in. I mean, it'd make a great time lap, but from your angle, not so much. Like, if I, was, if I had Babish's setup, I definitely would. So I'm, I'm sorry, you only get one time lapse in this video, at least for now. Oh my goodness, Babish. 
Measuring flour in tablespoons instead of grams? How imprecise can you be? Oh my goodness. All right, now the fun part, which we all learned from Rachel Ray. Your best tools in the kitchen are at the ends of your arms. So when you're mixing, you just gotta, mm, yeah. Oh my goodness. Mmm, this smells so good. You guys got, you guys gotta make this. I, one of these days. Okay, my goal by next year is to be popular enough to find a YouTuber and help them make this, so that they can experience this too, and then they can convince you. Cause I don't know if I'll convince you, but I know they will. Whatever YouTuber that is, I'm gonna get somebody. Maybe it's Rosanna Pancino or someone. I don't know. Maybe it'll be Babish, or maybe it'll be like, I don't know, Scurry. Scurry would be awesome. Bro, Scurry, hit me up. I don't know. Some, no, he never does face cam. Well, they never do face cam or anything. I don't know. Pro, I, don't, it, I think they're a pretty cool person. Uh, Ghost Robo. What? Everyone I like never uses face cam. Why is that? Huh. Anyway, I think it'd be awesome to meet some of these people and teach them how to make pie on pie day. So we got one year. We got one year to do this. In one year, I have to have enough subscribers that people take me seriously and I can meet all of these wonderful people and teach them how to make pie. Using a Babish video where Babish teaches people how to make pie. <laughs> Maybe by next year I'll have mastered pie and be able to teach people using my own recipe. Who knows? You never know. Oh my goodness, this is a mess. See all the, all the spices like glooping up and crap? I don't know what to do about that. That's an issue. Okay. Your homework for next time is to figure out what to do about that. And then next year, uh, send me a Twitter DM or something telling me, hey, remember last Pi Day? You gave us homework? Well, the due date's today. And here's the answer. Don't, don't even say anything but that. Just, just say that. Just be like, hey, remember the last Pi Day? You gave us homework. That's it. This is the answer. And then give the answer and try and make it as cryptic as possible so I'll be like, what in the world are you people talking about? And then I'll be forced to watch my old Pi Day video, giving it another view. <laughs> there you go, future me. I'm helping you out. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. And none of it is toxic, so I... Like, you know, raw egg or anything, so I should be able to just... It's better after it's been baked. Speaking of baking, it is only 4 o'clock, so I still got another hour to wait. So I'll see you guys then. In the meantime, I think I'll watch another five Babbage video. <laughs> I'm gonna get addicted to binging. No, no, no. Babbage Culinary Universe now. I'm gonna get addicted to the Babbage Culinary Universe because of this video. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you then. <laughs> Transition! Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. You know that feeling when you felt like that would be louder? Let's try that again. No. No. Oh well. Anyway. So, we're back. And we have the dough. We got the dough. I don't know where I left this video up because like I said, I literally was last here like an hour ago. All I remember is I did a transition and now I'm here. Who am I? Where am I? Oh, there's apples. Oh, there's dough. I'm probably making pie, aren't I? Let's get to it! Alright, this is to generously flour again, so let's do that. Mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh. Got the flour on there. Mmm! Nice and... <laughs> nice and soft! Okay, and then it says to hit it with a rolling pin. Now, I... I don't know... I don't think I have any rolling pins around here, you know, uh, so I'm gonna have to just, uh, 
That's spreading out way too much flour. Oh my goodness. All right, we have another issue. We got a secondary issue. Got a second issue here. It says to roll it out to four inches wider than your your pie tin. Well, my my pie tin goes out to there, so we're gonna have to make some room. One second, give me a second. Okay, we're good. Also. I noticed while I was doing that. There's a there's a rolling pin right on the wall right there. See kids, this is why we watch Dora the Explorer and Blues Clues. So we notice things like this. I feel like it's been up there a while. It's almost hairy. I wonder if this is like some heirloom thing and I should even be using it. Do we have another one? I think that's a rolling pin. Okay, I'm gonna leave the, the I'm gonna leave the hairy heirloom, probably twice as old, no, three times as old as I am, rolling pin on the wall. I'm gonna use Old Faithful here. No, oh, else well, I've seen this. Huh. All right. It says to beat it with a rolling pin. It is beaten. Do you submit? I shall beat you again! Do you submit? Alright. It doesn't say to beat it into submission, but I like to go the extra mile, you know? Alright. So. Let's form this back into a ball. And it says uh, to cut it in half. So. Cut it in half I shall. Hajime! I can't do it! You have to make the noises, or else the knife doesn't work. Like, see? Look at this. It doesn't work. HUNJIBI! See? It works. You probably can't even see that. Here, here. I'll, I'll just, I'll do an example cut for you, okay? See? Doesn't work. No, nothing. And then, HUNJIBI! See? Nice big cut down the middle. HUNJIBI! Cut piece right off there. Man, that's crazy. Hojika! But then nothing. Look at that. Barely even a scratch. So you have to make the noises or else the knife doesn't work. Like this knife? Super dull. I could literally nothing. But you make the noise. And it's just like BAM! Okay. So what does it say to do? It, 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 we're probably supposed to be doing something here with this. Okay, let's soak up some of that flour so that it stops going all over the place. From this into a coherent ball. Ha! And then I think we're supposed to roll it out. Roll out. All right, move out. Autobots, roll out. Insert 17th reference here. And here we go. Yeah, nice and nice and thin. Here, I'll, I'll put that closer to you so you can take care of it. Just watch after that for me, okay? All right, that's what it looks like right now. Don't don't let it don't let it get messed up. We're probably supposed to keep this flour through the whole thing, aren't we? Here's what the the written instructions say: split down into two equal pieces and begin to gently roll out the flour as you go. Huh? Roll out the flour. It's not doing much, Babish. It's not doing much. I think what you mean to say is flour as you go. Oh my goodness. One day, Babish and I are gonna be up and we're gonna have to have a talk about his cooking instructions. All right, here we go, running in the 90s. However that song goes. Man, this is a nice shaggy dough. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I am almost certain this is what it's supposed to feel like. Almost certain, being the operative word here. I have no clue. Really hoping I'm doing this right. Flower as you go. Flower as you go. Flower as you go. Flower as you go. 
To be honest, this is the first dough that I've made. Like the first bread dough of any sort. So I think it's turning out pretty well for being my first. But I do notice a gigantic chunk of butter right here. And I'm really hoping that doesn't mess with the strength of the dough, you know? But here we're at four inches wider, which is, I'm assuming, supposed to be two inches on each side. So, uh, not having a rolling pin of the sort that he has to roll it onto, instead I shall simply pick it up, being very careful, drape it over, and this is the trickiest part, I think, is folding it inwards. Oh, that's not so bad, actually. You just gotta lift the edge as you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that seems way trickier than it actually is when you're watching someone do it. So this is one of those things that's like super simple to do. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And now, whew, that's feeling very soft. I'm hoping that means it will be a flaky, thin, tasty crust and not just like a mishmash of garbage, but we will see. We will see. Wow, this part's 12 minute long recording. That's the longest so far. And I think that's because this part is where it finally gets exciting. We're making a pie. Look at this. There's a crust inside of a pie thing. It's not a tin. It's a... I don't know what you'd call that. But anyway. So, we're supposed to set this aside. So I will set it here. Keep an eye on that. And... We got the... What is this? What is this? What did you do? I told you to watch this. What the heck? I gave you one job. Oh my goodness. It's alright, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, I forgive you. I mean, it's it's not it's not really that bad. Uh, it's just it's just my pie for pie day, you know. My, my special day. The most wonderful day of the year for me. Do you remember when I said that in one of the pie videos way long ago? It's the most wonderful time of the year. I meant it. This day means a lot to me. But it's okay. You let me down, but it's okay. We still got a pie. Anyway, so we're gonna do lattice work. Oh wait, right, we gotta pour the apples in. That's another exciting part. Ah! We're actually pouring apples into a pie. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Uh, ooh. Got a lot of liquid on the bottom there. So, okay, if you let these sit for an hour, you might want to let the liquid drain off before you do anything else with it. Let's see what that does. Uh, do you though? I don't know if you do. You know what? I'm gonna be crazy. I'm gonna do something absolutely insane and I'm gonna leave the liquid in there and just pour the apples in with, the, with all that liquid and we'll see where the heck that leaves us. Ooh, because that looks, that looks good, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is looking like an apple pie. Oh, my goodness. This is my first apple pie ever. It's looking so good already. Okay, I want to be all fancy and decorate this. Like, you know, arrange the apples in a fancy way. But, you know, for your sake, I'll, I'll hold off. Okay, just for you. Just for you, because you aren't going to see this. This doesn't matter to you. And, you know, you, you, you're a busy person. You, you don't have the time for that. So, uh, just for you, I'm going to hold off on doing something that I really want to and love on my favorite day of the year. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I decided to start getting salty for the second half of this video. It's kind of funny, though. I don't know. I'm enjoying it while it's here, but maybe while I'm editing, I'll be like, oh my goodness, what was I doing? <laughs> uh, paste on the corner. It's kind of lattice. You need 10 one inch strips. It does not say anything about length. 
I imagine they just need to cover the pie crust. So, here we go. Just make them long enough for that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow, rolling a dough that you made is kind of satisfying. Honestly, like knowing that this was made by my hands and that it is looking this good and delicious, even with all the butter chunks kind of making things questionable. Cause like there's, there's a lot of butter chunks in here. Like I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if I screwed up somewhere along the way. But it says cold butter and you're putting it into a food processor so I don't know. It seems like it's supposed to be this way. Oh wow! That is... That is a mess. Anyway, I, I presume the butter chunks are supposed to be like this. As, I mean, instead of shaggy dough, it said a lot of things that I followed to the word. You, you even saw me getting like... All up in arms about being to the word on it. So, I'm gonna have trust, I'm gonna have faith that this is, this is exactly what we need. And boy does it look good. Like it's scary, but it looks good. Alright. It occurs to me you can't see like anything that's happening here. So that's gonna be very interesting, but I'm going to cut this. I could probably solve that by just moving this on this side. Can you see it now? Yeah. So I don't know how we're supposed to do one inch strips on this. Like, probably cut the edges off. Ooh. Ooh, it pulls. That's tricky. Okay, the dough pulls as you cut it. Yet another thing that the, the YouTube cooking community never tells you. Or any of those people on TV. They don't tell you to watch out for the pulling of the dough as you cut it. But, I have faith with my skills that I am good enough. And I think I am. Aha! Yes. Okay, you just gotta go back and forth. So that way you aren't pulling it, you're just slicing it. See? 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 I'll even do it one-handed. Ha-cha! Oh and yeah, you don't need to you don't need to make the noises for this bit. That's okay because uh you know, you're not cutting that deep. Like if you're cutting something deep, you do. But for this, you want the you want the precision, the 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 nice fine cuts. You don't want to like go into your table or something. So avoid shouting at this stage. Actually like you actually want to avoid shouting. So that's 3 one inch though, that's pretty thick. Here's some thick lattices. Five, six, seven. All right, so I got nine strips there, but I also have these two end pieces. So maybe I can form those together. So first, let's put down these nine. This is tough. Also, I just realized I'm still recording, so I guess time lapse time.
<laughs> oh my goodness. This is this is this is kinda tough to get right because I realize you don't just but, 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 but you gotta like do two over one back or three back and three over two back and oh my goodness. Ah uh, okay, so let's get these last few on. Alright, so we got the lattices. I think that's what he called them. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just putting dough on top of other dough on top of apples. Apples! Gotta love it. Apple pie. Alright, why am I doing this? I don't even want this. <laughs> I could have just put another piece of dough on top and been happy. Oh well, we're doing it this way. It's, it's a traditional apple pie. Might as well. Might as well. And then we just got these last two pieces that we got to mold together. And that'll be interesting. Oh my goodness, it is interesting. Okay. So let's roll out these pieces. And then we will have a wonderful lattice. I think that's what he called it. It's probably what he called it. If it's not, oh well. Okay. Definitely forgot to flower. The workspace definitely do that if you're doing this just just in case you're wondering out there all right here we go one last cut remember be quiet while doing this you don't want to you don't want to scare it you don't want to destroy it you just want nice thin easy work and then you have your piece of dough you pull back the the gatekeepers you say, may I enter? And they will say, yes, you may. And then you enter, you place the treasure before the king, and the king in all of his glory thanks you for the good deeds to king and country and allows you entry into the apple kingdom. And then you turn all of his people into a pie. What, were we, what was I doing? Oh yeah, apple pie. And now we got a fun task ahead of us of getting rid of all that. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is insane. This is crazy. Also, didn't I say that I was not going to do this tutorial style? Why am I suddenly doing it tutorial style? I guess because this is an exciting part. Like, this is, this is fun. This is exciting. I like this. This is, this is super cool. The fact that I am making an apple pie right now, and it seems to be working. I don't know if it's working. This could be absolute disaster in the end, but I think it's working. So let's just cut all this dough off. Oh my goodness. The last steps. The final preparation. I forgot to preheat the oven. Why didn't you guys remind me? Oh my goodness. Ah, I don't even know how, how hot to make it. Oh. You need to make it 500. Dang. Okay. You need a beaten egg white too. Ugh. Okay. Gotta take a baking sheet. Pop it in there. And let that heat up for freaking ever. And then we can make our pie. And then three or four Babish videos later, we can take it out. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, listing things off to put it in here. You need to trim off the excess. Crimp it to make it look nice. Brush with egg white. Sprinkle with sugar. And then pop it. Okay. I forgot everything I'm supposed to do. All I know is trim. Egg white. My hand is doing this for a reason. I think it's because I'm supposed to crimp. Yes. Trim. Crimp. Egg white. Sugar. Okay, let's go.
There is so much dough in this little corner. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, you're supposed to... crimp? Like, you know... fold it in from the edge so that you have something to crimp and also you don't have excess dough just sitting over the edge like a weirdo a weirdo factory this ain't no weirdo factory I think flouring your fingers helps to crimp oh yeah that's way easier yeah flower your fingers give your fingers flowers now and then you know you know they, they deserve some special treatment too they're with you longer than your girlfriend and you give your girlfriend flowers. Give them, give them something nice now and then. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling Toss salads and scrambled eggs And maybe I seem a bit confused Yeah, maybe, but I got you pegged <laughs> But I don't know what to do with those Toss salads and scrambled eggs They're calling again Scrambled eggs all over my face. They're making me ya ya. The salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Good night, Seattle. We love you. Cribbed! There we go. All right. I think all is done. Right, right. I, re I repeated some things to myself before. I, I made sure that I would know. I sent a message to my future self. And my past self has said, Beaten egg white and sugar. And it shall be so. There shall be beaten egg white and sugar on this. Also, I noticed at some point... There's a lot of raw dough on the bottom of this pan, and so I shall be cleaning that off as well. I'll see you when all that's done. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say goodbye until then. Eh. Dear Lord. And here we go. I think the pie is finally ready. Woo! Boy, holy crap, that's hot. Okay. Says to set it to 400. Make sure I'm not setting my jacket on fire. Holy crap. You gotta be real careful with this. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna film this. Gotta put the pie onto here. Oh dear lord. That that is insanely hot. Oh my goodness, it's literally hot enough to melt a pot holder if you hold it on the wrong side look this, this this side is oh my goodness my nerves are getting to me I'm not even filming right okay so yeah it, it like literally melted this together I don't know what's up with that so I'm gonna try and use the cloth side now <laughs> and hope that I don't absolutely annihilate something with my coat or the camera strip wow that is hot. Okay. <sighs> that is insanely hot. You, if you try this, be very careful. Use only pot holders that you know and trust very well. Maybe even use two of them. Like, I was I was holding a pot holder and I almost burned my hand there. That is. I think it, I don't know if it singed this. I don't think it did. And yeah, use the, use the cloth side so you don't melt it. Whoo, boy. Okay. Now, I don't know if I want to do anything with this stuff. I'll probably just toss it because it's probably what you're supposed to do. But the pie is in the oven. And it's now time to watch three or four more Babish videos until that's nice and crispy brown. I'll see you then. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling toss salads and scrambled eggs. And that's time. Here we go. Screaming hot oven. Screaming hot pie. Oh my goodness. Look at that. 
Is, is that brown enough? Actually, the camera picks it up a little better. Honestly, I think it looks good. Oh, yes, that looks good. Mm. It could kind of do with a little more brownie. I'm going to leave it in there for five to six minutes, which should be long enough to finish the video. I, I lied. I'm sorry. I did not watch three to four Babish videos. I watched one, and that was the Botched by Babish Moist Maker episode. I'm not even done with it. So, in the meantime, let's set this for... That should be long enough to finish it. All right, here we go. Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. And there it is, all done. With that, we should have, oh, perfect golden crust. Oh, that is so much better than before. I don't know why I was thinking of settling for less when I could have had this. Oh, look at that. I'm going to look through the viewfinder because this is even better on camera. Wow. That is, oh. And that's it. Uh, today's subscriber image is going to be an apple that missed out on being in this pie. Uh, so subscribers, there's your image. And non-subscribers, you get to look at that image and wish you had that image. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time, get psyched everybody. See ya. What? What do you want? Why, why are you still here? Go, go away. You're, you're finished. Also ignore that. You're finished? We're done. What are you talking? I can't cut into that. Have you, have you not seen Babish's video? Have you not read the recipe? You have to wait four hours to cut into this thing. This thing right here. You gotta wait four hours to eat that. I ain't got that time. I have to edit this video. It is Pi Day right now. I have to get this on YouTube. So bye. I'll tell you on Discord or something if it's amazing. Look at that in the description. You'll find my Discord. I'll tell you if it's amazing there. Okay? I can guarantee it will be. Okay? Bye.